So guys, today is the day that Team of the Season comes out, and I'm pretty excited for it because uh, blue cards are always fun. Team of the Season should be out around 6pm tonight, and the general consensus is that it will be the Team of the Season most consistent sides. The bronze, the silver, and of course, the gold teams coming out tonight. So with that in mind, in today's video we're going to talk about the already confirmed Team of the Season Gold Most Consistent side and uh, we're going to discuss some of the players and decide which ones that I'll be doing a video on later tonight and in the next few days. So guys, in the comments below I want to hear from you guys, let me know which of the players that you're about to see you'd like to see me do a video on, whether that's in a squad, in a player review or a one-off video, we'll just uh, we'll make it up as we go along but let me know what players you want me to try out and also let me know which players that you are looking forward to trying out yourself because I've got a good feeling that most of these are going to be cheap so most of them will be accessible to uh, pretty much everyone which is pretty sweet. So before we get into the players I just want to quickly point out the stats you're about to see are not confirmed. The players are but the stats, the overall rating and stuff like that are not confirmed nor the positions actually but um, the players as we already know are. And um, the stats that you're going to see are all just plus six and plus seven so um, yeah I'm hoping EA boost them a bit more than that and I think they will because obviously They've, um, they've gone pretty mad with their uh, inform boost this year, so I think team season boosts are going to be pretty big too. Anyway, let's get into some of these players. I'm not going to talk about all of them in depth, but we do. I do want to discuss a few of them. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Starting off with Oliver Baumann, who looks like a pretty good goalkeeper card. I wish he was a bit taller, but still some very impressive stats on him. Next up is Carvajal, who looks freaking insane. I love his normal card on this year's ultimate team. So, uh, yeah, I definitely want to try this card at some point because... Uh, He's not in form, he's freaking very good. Jan Vertonghen will be a very solid centre-back. Um, I like having my left centre-back left-footed, so this would be a very good option for my BPL team. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I like to have a left-footed left, left centre-back and a right-footed right, right centre-back because I don't know why, just, I feel a bit more confident defending like that. And yeah, just maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just crazy. Let me know in the comments below if you do the same. Moving on to Fazia, who um, he lacks a bit in pace, so he's probably not going to be top of the list for me, but still a pretty solid card if you ignore the pace. Danilo Pereira looks freaking insane. Good pace, good defending, good physical. There's a lot of Portuguese players in this team. This is the most consistent side as well. This card will be very freaking good, and I definitely want to try it because... Uh, yeah, this looks like a solid DM. Next to him is Jonathan Vieira, who originally in FIFA is actually a left mid. And as you can see, he's going to be a pretty pacey centre mid if he does get a centre mid card. So I imagine that most people are going to go centre mid to Cam, Cam to CF, CF to striker, and, you know, use him as striker because deep down, we're all pace horse. Gelson Martins is next, and we've just spoke about pace. So as you can imagine, I like the look of this card. Um, I'm definitely going to use it, don't know when, but um, hopefully early on. Very pacey, very good looking. And um, yeah, I'm going to use this card because this and it looks very fun to use. Talking of good looking Portuguese players, Brumet is up next and um, it looks very freaking good. Good pace, good shooting, good passing. And like I said, I boosted them by 6 and 7 so I didn't boost them that much. Hopefully EA boosts them a bit more so this card looks even more appealing. Nevertheless, very good card for Brumet. Morgan Sanson is going to have like one of the most ridiculous cards. Like I keep saying, I boosted them up like plus 5, plus 6, plus 7. I did the same with Sanson. I think he'll be boosted even more. He's going to be in the All 80s club and it's going to be one of the best cards on Ultimate Team. Imagine a midfield of Sanson's team this season and also Kante's team this season. That will just be a complete midfield and um, yeah, just ridiculous. Next up is Pazzini. Like I said, I need to stop saying it, but yeah, I hope you boost him a bit more just so his card becomes a bit more appealing. Next up is a card that will be pretty cheap and also pretty fun to use. We're going to have a very nice, piercy, cheap team season striker that all of you should be able to afford to use, which um, will be very nice. I like these kind of cheap team season cards, especially, you know, when they've got pierce. Onto the bench, we've got Martin Campagna, who apparently is zero centimetres tall, which... Um, yeah, that's pretty small. Pontus Janssen is up next, who I'm sure is going to be quite a popular team season card because Leeds fans are going to be all over this. On top of that, good pace, good defending, good physical, very good height. That is going to be an awesome centre-back card. The same can be said for Matthias Jorgensen, uh, Marcelo and Pazdan. They've all got very solid centre-back cards and they've all got a decent amount of pace as well, which always is very nice. On to the midfielders, we've got Ella Hamadi, who's going to be pretty good. We've got Sebastian Rudy, who I think will also feature in the Bundesliga team this season. We've got Gushkovov, um, no, Gushikov. I think I got it right the second time. Denis Gushikov um, is next, who uh, looks pretty good. Not as good as Zagwev did in last year's team this season, but still a nice little Russian league card. We've got Rude Vorma, who looks pretty good. 
We've got a uh, Lucas Torrier who I hope they bo uh, hope they boost sorry his shooting a bit more because it's not looking that impressive as things currently stand. But hopefully he boosts it a bit more than I have. Next up is Rave who uh, you know pace. I'm looking at that. I'm liking the look of that card. French as well. And um, very very nice. Hopefully the boost is dribbling a bit more, but still very nice looking card. Should be cheap as well. And finally we've got Roger who uh, once again very nice pace, a cheap striker for all of us to try out at some point. Now obviously we're not done there, there is one more card and that is of course team this season Matt Ritchie. Sadly Footwiz doesn't let you do more in 23 players, but uh, Matt Ritchie also is getting a gold team this season card. So guys, that is the most consistent team this season gold team. Let me know in the comments below which ones you'd like to see me pick up and do a video on. And uh, also let me know which ones you want to pick up and try out yourself personally. You can leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later tonight for some team this season content. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.